everybody. I am Dr. Sumanth Rorath. I am a pediatric nephrologist. Today I am going to talk about nephrotic syndrome in children. This nephrotic syndrome is a quite a common entity in our day-to-day -day pediatric nephrology services. Uh, what it actually means that your child is uh, losing huge amount of protein through his urine and that's why your child gradually becomes puffy. To start with the face becomes puffy and gradually the abdomen the whole body gets also along with the child starts to have a decreased amount of urine day by day and once this type of symptoms are picked up by parents they have to contact their local pediatricians and it's easy to diagnose the case because a simple urine test can diagnose the case add on some blood test may be required to diagnose it and once this nephrotic symptom is diagnosed, the treatment stage basically remains with steroid. And there is a fixed protocol of this uh, duration and doses of steroid. We have to take around approximately for 3 months of medicines in the first episodes. And once this medication is completed, the child usually starts responding up within 2-3 to three weeks of starting this steroid. But remember, even if your child gets better within 2-3 to three weeks, you need to complete the drug dose for the proper duration what your pediatrician has prescribed and uh, one more thing to add on that this disease is not like just a typhoid or malaria where you treat the child and the child becomes cure forever nephrotic syndrome usually comes back again and again and this return of the disease is usually called as relapse so your child can have a relapse maybe two to three times per year or maybe even more than four times per year so whenever the child relapses less, that is around 2 to 3 times per year, don't worry much because each time they can be treated well with steroid and obviously of le bit lesser duration, maybe of one and a half months of duration, effectively. But once your child starts getting relapses 4 to 5 times a year, then other than steroid, you may need some other second or third agents just like levomisole or MMF or endoxin or tactolimus. One more thing, most of the child fortunately grows out of this disease after 16 or 17 years of age and more than 80% or 90% of patients don't have any kidney failure through their entire course of this disease. But unfortunately, 10 to 15% of child may not respond to this mains therapy that is steroid. That time, this type of children may require some kidney biopsies or may require some medicines like tacrolimus and they may face a little bit difficult course in their lifetime and some may have long-term kidney failure in their due course. So we need to diagnose these conditions early, treat it adequately as per the protocol and the most important thing is monitoring of the disease and the monitoring is done basically by their parents also that is called the home urine protein monitoring. Go. Monitoring of nephrotic syndrome at home is basically a simple test. This is a simple heuristic where this type of small sticks are available Parents have to do the simple test of urine, preferably the early morning urine. They have to dip this type of stick in their urine and there should be some color change. And the color change may be of just like negative 1 plus, 2 plus or 3 plus. And they have to write down it in a diary. So this is a standard example of a nephrotic diary. Just not to make it complicated, simple things are you have to write the date first. Second, what is the urine protein results that is in either 3 plus or 4 plus or negative or trace. And if your child is on medication, that is the steroid, you have to write the dose of steroid. Either your child is taking 20 mg morning and evening for how many days and if your child is on alternate day, then you have to write either 30 or 40 whatever mg is taking in alternate day fashion. But remember, if your child is on daily medications or alternate medications or even not on medications, you still have to continue your daily urine diary monitoring at least for 2 to 3 years for your child. Go. Yeah. Regarding the dietary management of your child, not to worry much, we nephrologists usually don't incur unnecessary some food restriction to your child. We don't usually restrict the egg yolk or the butter. We usually tell whatever the child wants, they can take it. There will be some restriction regarding salt and when the child is much puffy, then there is some restriction regarding the water intake. Otherwise, the child can have a normal diet as usual. And remember one more thing, this type of child usually grow up, uh, out of this disease once they cross 16 or 17 years of age and for their lifetime usually their renal kidney functions does not get worse over time. But the main important thing is regular follow up to your pediatrician or your pediatric nephrologist. So even if your child is not on disease at least try to contact your pediatrician at least every 3 to 4 monthly 
and if the child is already on medications prefer to have a follow up every monthly or one and a half months interval and if your child is started on some second agent of medication as i told earlier or your child is not responding to steroids may need a renal biopsy and some other difficult medication that time you may need to contact your pediatric nephrologist even if you have some doubt regarding this or you need a second opinion you can always contact us through our helpline of this hospital thank you